Hi guys, it's still Mr. Richard. We are still on question 5, mathematics prelim uh 2016. Yes. Right? This is how thing prelim. Yes, it was written on 2016. So let's uh prepare our prelim for 2022 September. So let's get started. We are given uh, that f of x is equal to a to the power of x. This type of graph, first thing, you have to determine what type of graph is this. We can see this is an exponential where the effect of a is greater than zero and a point uh, q is given there that lies uh, on the graph of f. So we are required to show that the value of a is 4 all over 5. How many marks is that? That's 2 marks, right? Okay, to make things easier um let's get started we are at 5.1 okay 5.1 we are given this equation y uh, to the power of a, a to the power of x since a is greater than zero and we're given q uh they say that it, it passes through the it lies on the graph of, of f Right, so remember, uh, it was given as f of x. So instead of writing f of x, you can replace it with y here. So we are given negative 2 and a mixed fraction 1 and 9 all over 16. Okay, so we are required to show that a is equal to 4 all over 5. This is quite easy to work with. Right, so this is a to the power of x. So we can use this coordinate, KQ. So this is X and this is Y. So this will be, um, if we change this, 1 times uh, 16, that will be uh, 16. 16 plus 9, that will be 25. So we are going to have 25 all over 16 here. Then we have A to the power of negative 2. So we can write this in a positive exponent. This will be A to the power of 2. And remember that here we are given uh, 25 divided by 16 then when it's like this you can cross multiply 25 multiplied by a squared that will be 25 a squared 16 multiplied by 1 that's 16 you will then uh divide both sides by 25 as well as here divide both sides by 25 so this and this they cancel then uh we are left with 16 all over 25 then what is the square root of um of a squared that will be a that will be a Square root of 16, that's 4. Um, square root of 25, that, that's 5. You can write it as plus or minus since we're getting rid of squared there. But they say that uh, we, we should leave our answers positive. So it will be A for all over 5. So that's that's how you can answer um, 5.1. So let's go to 5.2. At 5.2, we are required to write down the inverse of f and leave your answer in a form of y yeah be very careful follow the instruction you, you must leave your solution as uh, y is equals to also two marks okay right um remember that we are answering 5.2 now at 5.2 remember now we have a a it's 4 divided by 5 to the power of x so since they said you must find the inverse, yes, we should write, write down the equation of the inverse of f. So we are going to interchange or we swap the coordinates. Where there is y, there will be x. So we are going to have x, then we are going to have 4 all over 5 uh, to the power of y, right? We are not done. Uh, this is what you should know. An inverse of an exponential, it's a logarithm. And an inverse of a logarithm, it's an exponential. So we will uh, write this in a, log, in a log form. So it will be log, log base. What is the base there? Our base is 4 all over 5. Uh, log base number, what is the number? It's x there. So it will be log 4 all over 5x, which is equal to y. Since they said we must leave our answer uh, in the form y is equal to. So that's how you can answer um, 5.1 and 5.2. Let's go to 5.3 now. 5.3, we are required to sketch the graph of f and the graph of the inverse on the same set of axes. Yeah, meaning on the same Cartesian plane. That's what they are saying here. So we are on 5.3. 
Remember that the graph of f is given as y is equal to 4 over 5 to the power of x. And the, the, and the graph of inverse, it's log 4 over 5x. So we have to sketch. Let's first sketch the original graph. We are going to sketch, we are going to start with the original graph. Uh, ensure that you use a ruler here. I use a raft hand. Right. So uh, you can't sketch a graph without intercept. Let's find the intercept. For x intercept, uh, we don't we, we won't have x intercept here. So but for we will have a y intercept. Let's let 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 x be zero so that it can we can find an, a, a, a y intercept. So when we say y is equal to four all over five to the power of zero, that will be one, meaning our coordinate will be zero and one. Then we shall place that coordinate zero and one. Should be somewhere here. Okay, that will be zero and one. And remember, we also have the coordinates of Q there. Our coordinates of Q was given as negative 2 and 25 all over 16. So we shall place a negative 2. Negative 2 is here, 0, 1, 2. And 25 all over 16, it's the same as 1, 5. And yeah, 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 and there are other numbers that follow. So negative 2 and 1, 5 will be somewhere here. Yes, between, uh, between 2 and 1. So... We are going to place Q here. So we are going to have negative 2 as well as 25 all over 16. Okay, then what are we going to have? We're going to have such graph here. We're going to have such graph there. We can see it's an exponential graph. So we name this the graph of F. For you to find the inverse, to find the inverse, you, drop, you just swap the coordinate you just swap the coordinate so since it's zero and one here it will be one and zero zero and one so we are going to have another coordinate here one and zero as for q it will be 25 all over 16 25 all over 16 is between one and two and negative two we're going down zero one two okay so we are going to have uh, 25 all over 16 and negative 2. So we can join our points there. Join your points. Well, yours will be accurate. So it's, it's here. This is 25 over 16. And this is 1. So that's the sketch. Don't forget this is y here. Y axis. And this is the x axis. So that's how you can answer 5.3. Uh, then now we... Are moving to 5.4 at 5.4 they said for which values of x is f of x less than 1 is f of x less than 1 this is when you look at your graph here it happens where there is a 0 yes so it's going uh, above yes as the x values increases there so at 5.4 I don't have space here at 5.4 I'll write it here so our solution will be x is greater than zero then let's look at 5.5 .5. at 5.5 .5, what are we looking for at 5.5 .5, they said oh that's an afrikaans let's let's go with in english write down the equation of h uh, if h is the reflection of f about x axis yes they said h is the reflection of f so we are going to use the graph of f so they said we must write down the equations if it's reflected about x axis, right? First thing first, write a rule. For x axis, your y value uh, becomes negative. When you reflect about uh, x axis, your y value becomes negative. Since we are given at f of x, we are given uh, y fall over 5 to the power of x. Remember I said that reflection about x axis, your y value becomes negative. So we shall place negative here. So if the subject can never be negative, then divide both sides by negative. So we are going to have negative. Then here we are going to have 4 all over 5 to the power of x. Therefore, this is where h of x. Um, this is where h of... Therefore, h of x will be negative 4 all over 5 to the power of x. So this is the, the, the graph. This is the graph of h then. Then um, 5.6, we are required to write down the equation of the line that is to be reflected in order to obtain 
uh, the graph of of the inverse. Obviously, uh, the lines that will pass that will pass us through the graph here, it's um, it, it will be when we draw the line, it will be y is equals to x. So in this case, in this case, that means at our solution at five point um, five point six. Right, let me write it here. Sorry, due to space. So let me write it here. So at five point six, it will be y is equals to x so those are the lines those are the line that is the line that is to be reflected in order to get the inverse there then let's go to 5.7 to get uh, at 5.7 we are told to determine the range of uh, f of x minus one okay where there is f of x we shall play we, we shall put the, the the original graph remember we have our original graph as uh, as four all over five to the power of x minus one. So when you're looking at the range, when you, when you went to, when you have to find the range of an exponential, this is what you should know. Uh, the range of an exponential is determined by the effect of a. If a is greater than zero, it means that uh, y will be greater than zero. But in this case, we are given negative one. So our range will be y is greater than negative one. Right, guys. So uh, that's how you can uh, work out um, this type of function. Yes, the inverse function of a, an exponential. Don't forget, it's logarithm. So um, for you to find also the, 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 uh, this value of uh, of x where it's greater than zero, you can also use logarithm. Some can use logarithm where there is um, f of x. They will place uh, for all over five and work out then you will get this zero so you can see that it's going above x is greater than zero so that's the case guys so hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe and like uh, tune for our next video which will be a uh, question six yes we shall upload it on tuesday so uh, wednesday in the morning you shall receive it let's keep winning and remember we love you